Speaking to that, I mean, I think that within neoliberal capitalism, everything gets reduced to the individual. Everything becomes personalized and it doesn't address, as you said, doesn't address the society. It's like the society doesn't no. exist. Uh, it's, you know, kind of, it, 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 it's, it's strange because it seems like we're all members of this thing, but for some reason it's just not addressed. And so, I mean, maybe this is something you've personally experienced or this is something you, you've you just maybe analyzed or maybe a little bit of both, but the ways in which neoliberalism or capitalist realism, as Fisher says, uh, kind of in- reinforces this idea that, no, this is, th- this is as good as it's going to get. And you're kind of crazy for not thinking that it's good. You know, what does that mean? Yeah. I mean... I've definitely experienced it or come across it on both levels. I mean, I've experienced it personally, sitting in therapy, talking to a psychologist who means well, but who is unable, utterly unable to address the problem at stake um, in political terms, basically. Um, So even if psychologists, I mean, most psychologists are not saying to you directly that it's all on you, that it's all your fault, right? I mean, sure. there is still this widespread message floating around, and sometimes even explicitly so, where therapists or self-help gurus or psychologists are basically saying to people and to depressed people, especially, get over it or man up, or it's your own fault and it's your own responsibility to be happy, but that also means that it's your own responsibility if you are not happy, if you are unhappy, if you are depressed or stressed out or anxious or burned out. Um, So we have that very dominant tendency um, uh, to be met with this uh, personalization, privatization of mental illnesses in general, um, where it's all about you your own self, your own mindset, your own brain, your own thoughts. And the idea is that you can't really change society, right? You can't do that, obviously, apparently. So what you can change is yourself. What you can change is your own thoughts. And these thoughts can change your, you know, personal reality is the idea. Um, (coughs) And also, I mean, the whole domain of positive psychology, the main ambition is uh, to help people become better versions of themselves. It is to help people become more productive and, you know, positive workers or citizens. It is, the goal is to keep the wheels turning, basically, uh, to get people back to the jobs that perhaps made them sick in the first place. Um, Right. Yeah, and there is this uh, sentence from uh, um, Kathy Acker that has just been um, echoing in my mind for the last couple of years where she says in one of her books, I think it's from the late 70s, that we couldn't change the system, so we what we tried to do was change ourselves. And I mean, there is this strange parallel between that message and the message of neoliberalism, the message of positive psychology, and of course, also the ideology of happiness. I mean, um, I don't know if you know the concept of the happiness pie. Mm -hmm. Uh, No, I don't. uh, Which is a concept that this um, woman called, and I think I may bungle her name, but she's called something like Sonia Lyubominsky or something like that. And she says that, okay, we need to... Um, imagine that happiness <coughs> is a pie, right? And 40% um, uh, of your own happiness is determined by the genes, or maybe 50%, 50%, I think. And then 40%, uh, and, and then 10% is uh, circumstances, and then 40% is your intentional activities, I think she calls it, which means that 40% is basically up to you. It's up to your own choices, your own thoughts, your own mindset, your own lifestyle, etc. And that is, of course, the, 
the message just that she's trying to convey alongside um, maybe the most um, influential thinker in Scarecrow within that tradition, um, Martin Seligman, uh, who who has also written a lot about happiness and, and positive psychology, the science, so-called, of positive psychology. And the whole idea is that responsibility, as some critics have called it, responsibility is insourced in a way. Responsibility is, you know, all on you. Um, I, 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 I'm, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious what's wrong with this kind of, you know, logic. Right. If, if we can even call it that. 